A field day at Sask Valley Farm, January 22, 2013, allowed us to observe hay baled with four different treatments in the summer of 2012. This alfalfa brome hay was cut on August 15th and 16th, 2012, and baled on August 21st at the project site near Saskatoon. Five bales were treated with Buchneri inoculant and five bales with Silogard. One untreated high moisture control bale was also made along with two dry control bales. Feed testing was done in early December of 2012. At both sites, the mold was highest in the dry bale. Really? Who knows? But apparently, it could be a different, you know, a different type of bacteria or something. Mm-hmm. And have you used silo guard before too, or was this the first year? No, the silo guard we've had for it's been three years already, or two. One of the two, two, yeah. two. and we yeah. used it, and uh, uh, I, we couldn't get a nozzle small enough to apply it at the rate that was recommended. Do you apply it the same way? Uh, yeah, yeah. That is a that is a soluble powder, basically. So you got to mix that up with water. Then? Water, yeah. yeah. And then that stuff you pour straight. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of half frozen now. At this site, the best hay quality resulted from the dry control bale in terms of TDN, crude protein, and relative feed value. Using SiloGuard appeared to maintain crude protein and relative feed value under high moisture conditions. The lower mold count and less dust in the Buchneri also appear to be an advantage over the high moisture control. What do you like about it? I find it keeps the dust and the mold down yeah. on the tougher hay. And I, and I, uh, it, it's a little more noticeable when you do small square second kind of alpha. Uh, the, I've been able to bale up the to almost 20% moisture, stick it in the shed that evening, and it hasn't heated. Okay. <laughs> on, uh, Hey, that's been cut three or four. Duck video. The four tilted video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can grab one, I'll grab one. <laughs> yeah, that one's not as bad. Oh, yeah, there's a poop yeah. there. Yeah. And this is the high moisture. Yeah. I think it's yeah. dustier. Eh? Definitely this is dustier. dustier. Yeah. Yeah. There's some weeds in here, I think. And then this was the dry one, so you'd think it would be. It's even got dust in it. Too, yeah, it does for sure. This might be because this one's pretty dry. Yeah. Yeah. This one's the least dusty. This is a bookmark. And didn't didn't this one have the least amount of mold too? Uh it might yeah, it did. Yeah. That's this one. Yeah. Yeah. Something improved out of it. Square wheels stay greener with the Buckner eye than without yeah. what we noticed before. Well, the Buckner eye seems to be a fairly decent product overall. See the bar, stick your head right underneath behind the main. <coughs> yeah, that's where I mounted the bar for two nozzles. And you're just using two nozzles there? Yes. Just two T-Jet nozzles. Yeah. Uh, right there. Okay. 
Right there's the one, and then the same on the other side. I can go to a point one five or a point two. Is it pretty easy to switch? Yeah, just spin them out. Yeah, just like your uh, sprayer. Yeah. Yeah. And I just run it at uh, 30, 30 to forty psi, and that's about it. Okay. Yeah. So for uh, if you don't count the work I did to wire it in and all that, uh, two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. That was it. And you're good to go. And you're good to go.